All right, you know this as? Perfect. Perfect. Now be careful. You were tempted to say this is the Kyle perfect, and it could be. But now we just have to call it the perfect. Do you understand the point here? Now, what's good news, of course, is that all the endings you've learned, katal, katala, katalta, which are in red on here, you've already learned. Those are the endings of the perfect in the kal. Those are the endings of the perfect in the pi'el, and in the nifal, and in the hifil, and in the hafal. You already know this stuff. We're not learning a whole bunch of new verb forms. The only difference here is, in the kal, we started with katal, right? In the pi'el now, we're not going to have the katal pointing. We're going to have the kitel pointing. See what we're going to do now? You're going to combine what you already know about the perfect with what we are now learning about the pi'el. And we can make all of these forms pi'ils very quickly, first of all, by putting a dagish forte in the middle root letter. Get it? That, if you know nothing else, know that. You can spot a pi'il by the dagish forte in the middle root letter. Now, the second thing that you should know is this I vowel. And we can put an I vowel here. And now they're all clearly and unambiguously P ales. This is now the pit ale perfect. And you see that I vowel right there. Got it? This much you should do. The rest of the paradigm you already know. Because in every conjugation, regardless of the fact that you have a saray there, this second syllable goes to the same thing that you've already learned. That's part of the perfect. That is to say, before the vocalic endings, what do we get? Schwa. Schwa. Before the consonantal endings, that syllable goes to pathak schwa with the accent. That's kind of nice. You know all that. You're done. You've just constructed the entire paradigm of the regular verb in the pi'il. Before we run out of time, let me quickly guess what? 